You just mentioned the economy, Lawrence. Uh, that came up in a Twitter post, now known as X, by David Brooks, who is a very famous New York Times columnist. And he posted this picture, I believe yesterday. Can you see that right there? It says, this meal just cost me $78 at Newark Airport. This is why Americans think the economy is terrible. Well, you know how social media works. Uh, people match the table and the glass and the chair and the sheet and the cut of the fries, and they realize that it is a place out at Newark's uh, Terminal A, brand new. It's called the 1911 Smokehouse Barbecue, and they have decided to go ahead and run with the ball because that does not cost $78. Ainsley, it costs seventeen dollars. Exactly. Unless you factor in that glass of something. Because he had his burger, he had his French fries, and the salad, and then there was a glass of something that would have cost what seventeen dollars without the alcohol. And this is what the restaurant said: Looks like someone was knocking back some serious drinks. Bar tab was almost eighty oh, percent, and he's complaining about the cost of his meal. Keep drinking, buddy. We get paid <laughs> off everything. Right, and then the owner of the smokehouse uh, said to the New York Post, we will probably do a David Brooks special, thanks to all the publicity he's given us. It'll be a cheeseburger and a double whiskey as well, Brian. Yep, uh, Lawrence, <laughs> you can go to, it's, uh, they, I, I think he's a nice guy, but as a conservative columnist, he'd, ever since Donald Trump got elected, he's been Liz Cheney'd. Uh, he kind of is off the reservation. Well, maybe his point is the economy has driven people to drink because right. he was doing both. Right. Inflation yeah. does matter. Lawrence, why don't you go well, talk to some I, people I in Montana? Yeah, I'm going to talk to some of my new friends here. Uh, Nate, let's go ahead and roll over here. Jules, um, everyone is talking about the economy and how it's impacting them. I know I've had some family members that are struggling. Folks in our generation can't get their first house. How do you feel like things are going day to day with the economy? Um, I talk to my husband about this a hmm. lot, and it is so much harder for our generation now to save up and even look at homes, let alone rentals. Um, and yeah, it is just really difficult right now. This is a conversation I actually have like daily with my husband. What, what do you, who, who do you blame for everything that's going on right now? Um, I, I'm like, uh, I don't. It's okay. Take your time. Sorry. Um, I think. I don't know. The economy right now is just hard. Like, m we talk a lot about how our, the older generation had it very easy in the sense of, like, they, everything was just so much cheaper. Mm -hmm. Lower and, interest rates. Yeah. Wasn't as much for to get eggs and milk yeah. in the store. And I have a daughter myself, a two-year-old, and just, like, even day to day, like, it is just crazy. Groceries, um, mm -hmm. everything just adds up, mm -hmm. and it's just it's a lot right now. We hope that it gets better. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank talking you. to us. I want, I want you guys to talk to my other friend. Her name is Bonnie. Bonnie, we're talking about the president right now and how he's doing. Um, a lot of folks have suggested his age, but do you feel like he's speaking directly to the problems and concerns of the American people? No. I, no. Don't, I don't think he really has a clue. I think his time has passed. And I think there's so many pressures now that people are experiencing. What I hear here is there's a lot of issues with the economy. People aren't making enough to survive. Taxes keep going up because we're spending on absolutely ridiculous things. Mm -hmm. And my question would be to our leaders is, can anybody do math? Mm -hmm. You know, can anybody add? The question I have is we're bringing in what's the real number in mm -hmm. illegals? And who's paying for that? When I ask fellow citizens, how much are you willing to pay extra in taxes? Everybody says, no, well, the government should pay for that. I'm, I'm thinking, well, we're the government. You know, wow. we're the people. It's just not adding up. No. I mean, what a fantastic way of putting it. The, the math isn't adding up. When you keep bringing folks in here illegally, when you keep sending money to foreign countries, uh, and the American people are struggling, that we haven't had a balanced budget and I don't know how long, they're not passing the appropriation bills, it's just not adding up for the American people. I'll send it back to you guys in New York. All right. right. Great opinions. Thank you very much, Lawrence. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.